Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Welcome into K-State Online. I am Mason Voth, and uh, I'm joined by uh, two men, one that you see semi-frequently on here, one that you know from Bosco's Boys, and they are here to help out with uh, one of the shows that we'll have for you during this weird kind of Christmas weekend type deal where there's a lot of days where people probably aren't going to be working a ton, us included, and getting ready for the bowl game and everything else. So what I've put together is uh, a K-State themed game show. We're going to refer to it as Bowl Games. So all these questions will have somewhat of an affiliation to K-State Bowl Games of past years. Uh, Basically, the way that this is going to work out, there are going to be four quarters, essentially, that you can play. So the first quarter will have a question, second, and so on. Each question will have multiple answers to it. Each player will go back and forth and have the opportunity to give their answer, then it goes to the next. When somebody gets it wrong, they are done. And then the other person, if they go out there and they get a question right, they can say, hey, I'm done. I'll take my points here. Or they can go out and do it. However, if they get it wrong, then they also revert to zero, and we'll just go with no points for that round. So uh, it'll end up as a zero-zero tie if you both get a question wrong, but you have the ability to just say, hey, I'm out. Uh, We'll see how that ends up working. So Uh, I explained most of the rules to these guys beforehand. The one kicker in all this, literally, is there is an onside kick feature that you can use here. Each player, at one point in the game, if they answer a question, say, hey, I'm using my onside kick, they get the opportunity to name the rest of the guys on the board. However, if they get it wrong, then the points end up reverting to their opponent and ultimately, you don't have to use it in this game. I want to make that clear, but it's there as like last ditch or if you're really ballsy and you want to run it up on your opponent, um, you know, Bill Snyder would do in, in games, go for it. So we'll see how it ends up playing out. If there are questions throughout the game, fire away, you can do it. Uh, random draw beforehand. Jimmy has won, uh, so he gets to go first. He will have the first crack at answering a question. Uh, in the first round. So without further ado, let me put it up there. I Look, I worked hard last night to try and, try and give you guys uh, an opportunity here to see this visually. There it has loaded up. We are ready to go. Your first question, there are seven possible answers here. Players with a catch in the 2006 Texas Bowl, Ron Prince, the head coach, what a guy. Uh, we all know and love him. Let me get the uh, music playing in the background. Add some drama to this. And, uh, Fan, you are first on the board here with the opportunity to give a player that caught a ball in the 2006 Texas Bowl. Yaman figures. That is incorrect. So you are uh, already out. That means, Scott, uh, (laughs) however many guys you want to rattle off and name, you can go for it right now and try and just get a big lead early. Oh, I mean, this could be anticlimactic. Uh, did Jordy Nelson grab uh, a catch in the 2006 Texas Bowl? Jordy Nelson did grab a ball in oh the my 2006 gosh. Texas Bowl. He had the <laughs> most grabs in the game. What What a question. Um, I knew I couldn't use this one for Drew and D.Y. because Drew was like five and, well, he's probably like <laughs> nine. And D.Y. was, he probably never even thought about K-State. Oh, my gosh. Well, I... All right, so so if, if I get one wrong, it's zero zero, right? If you get one wrong, it's zero zero. Okay, then I'm no, I'm taking the one point lead again. Everyone watching, <laughs> this isn't entertaining. I understand that, but I'm in it to win it because it, y- Yaman figures was like the only other one I, I had in my head. There's a couple <laughs> other, but I'm not confident in anything. Wow. Okay. I, I I guess I could have maybe expected that to happen, mm. uh, but we'll just we'll freeze it right there. Uh, real quick, I'll add the scores to your name so everybody is aware of what's going on. This is real what high tech uh, game show production. <laughs> so, so now that we're done, now that we're done, was Antoine polite? No, um, no, 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 not at all. Uh, any not. other names you guys want to throw out here right. as guesses? J- Brandon Banks, Jaron Mastrude. No, neither of those guys caught balls no, in the 2000s. They were later. Yeah. Yeah, they were later. So was Polite. Uh, polite was not even on. Polite, polite was later. He was not yeah. even Okay, so so what is it? Give us a right. walk down memory lane. So, uh, Rashad Norwood. Oh, okay. Daniel Gonzalez. Wouldn't have gotten Wow. That. 
Michael Pushki, I've never heard of this guy. Sorry if you're watching. I have no idea who you are. I would are. not have gotten that one. No. Leon Patton. Leon Patton. I feel bad about that one. <laughs> I thought some of you guys would get the two running backs because Leon Patton and James, James Johnson are up yeah. there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and Dylan Meyer credited with a catch oh. in the game. Oh. Okay. So, <laughs> so I, I feel bad about not getting Patton or Johnson or Norwood. Um, I never would have came up with Daniel Gonzalez. I ne- never would have thought Dylan Meyer and yeah, p- old, good old M. Poosh. <laughs> don't, don't remember him at all. Yeah, I saw that name. I was like, man, I don't know who half of these guys are. And was, I'd like was, to think of myself as not an idiot. Was Yamon Figures playing? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he did because I think, I, look, I've watched that replay on YouTube a handful of times, and I'm pretty sure that I've seen him return a kick in that game, but he yeah, did not I, catch a ball. I can't believe he didn't catch a ball. So yeah. What what brought you to rewatch the 2006 <laughs> oh, Texas Bowl? Oh, great story about it. Uh, it was broadcast on NFL Network, which yep. is kind of unique yeah. and everything. And I just remember my dad, love him, great guy, pretty cheap when it comes to like entertainment and sports and everything. Like we never really had golf clubs that were brand new. It was always like, well, I always got mine off of eBay. You can too. Uh, we always sat in the nosebleeds at games. Didn't matter. He's like, we're going to go to one Royals game this year, but I'm not wasting my time to go up to anymore. All that kind of stuff. Uh, we had like basic cable all the way through, but I remember, uh, for that Texas bowl game, he got a free trial of Cox's like extended cable package. And for like two weeks around Christmas, best time of my life. Yeah, we had NFL <laughs> Network, but I also got to watch cartoons on Boomerang, and I thought it was the coolest <laughs> thing ever. So I was just like, yeah, I'm looking around. Let's see what I can find, because I like old TV graphics and stuff like that, so I went to go look. But, uh, yeah, kind of a, an interesting thing. All right, let's uh, roll on here, and we'll get the uh, other question out of the way that has an odd number of guys in it. So this means Scott will get to start first. Uh, let me pull it up on the screen if I can uh, – Yet again, find the uh, correct window. The this question is be defensive backs in the no, no, no. Wise that's ball. probably the toughest question that there will be while we do this. Uh, this question is opposing coaches in New Year's Six Bowls that K State has played in. Mm-hmm. Now, the obviously K State has only played in one tabbed as a New Year's Six, but they've played in BCS Alliance Bowl. So anything that is currently a New Year's Six Bowl is what will be labeled as uh as a new year six bowl for this purpose in case they played in so obviously they played in seven of those so you know that there's an odd number of answers scott gets to go first after one correct answer then it'll go to jimmy and uh, we'll see who can do this so the music plays mr scott wildcat is on the board this is a good one uh i'll take the easiest one nick saban okay congratulations uh nick saban on the list uh mr number seven right there I'm going to go uh, Paul Pascaloni. That is very impressive. Uh, that is that is number two on the list. I I figured you would probably know it, but <laughs> also that seemed like a pretty forgettable guy uh, in Syracuse history. So, yes, Paul Pascaloni is on there. Uh, so it's 1-1 this round. All right, I'm, I'm going with Chip Kelly. Uh, very good. Very good call right there. Uh, before Nick Saban, he was the uh, most recent. Uh, New Year's Six opponent for K-State. Uh, man. Jim Trestle. Very good. Uh, probably the second most notable coach on here. I don't know. There's There are actually some pretty good coaches on here. But, yes, Jim Trestle is on the board. Oh, man. Um, so th- this might be where I bow out. Was, but was Bobby Petrino the Arkansas coach in the Cotton Bowl? Bobby Petrino was the coach in the Cotton Bowl for oh, Arkansas. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> so that leaves uh, two men left on the board here. One of the guys left, I was at the game. Man. Um, um, I'm forgetting his name. Oh. Uh, I know, I, I know the name in my head, but I'm forgetting the name of – I'm at a blank. 
So okay. you're out. You're I'm out. All right. Well, that is uh, that leaves the board open. Two names left for uh, Scott to try and go. And uh, obviously, if he wants to rattle them off here, uh, he can finish this he thing can. and get a handful of points. I, well, I, I don't have them. The four I knew were Saban, Kelly, Pat- and I hoped Petrino and Trestle. So I, I don't have, you know, it was what, BYU in the Cotton Bowl. And then uh, um, there was another Cotton Bowl. Tennessee. Um, Tennessee, yeah, and I don't. I, I know who it is, but I can't remember the name. Okay, I don't, and, and I have no clue out. who the Tennessee coach was. Here. So I, I'm, uh, I, I'm opting out. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. take. Uh, right. What was it? Congratulations, three, three, Ben Sennett on the opt out. Uh, so yes, <laughs> three points for Scott there. He, uh, he goes up to four. Uh, fan now, uh, he, he on the board, making progress. A little four two. Uh, Iowa football score down there. Uh, yeah, I, honestly, I thought these two guys you would get. Uh, Lavelle Edwards was the BYU okay. coach oh, at the time, well. and Phil Fulmer was Phil indeed Fulmer. the coach of Tennessee. Oh, okay. I knew I, I had it in my head. I just and I had his face in my head. I just couldn't remember the name. Yeah. Damn. So there you go. Uh, how many? How many of these games were you guys at? Because I have been at three of these games. I was only at two. I was at the uh, Fiesta Bowl and uh, that Cotton Bowl, and then there's a a, a fun, not so, probably not your podcast appropriate um story i can tell about that cotton bowl um you know i'm not going to it was after the cotton bowl but it's pretty funny uh, okay. but yeah I, I was only at i was only at two of those okay i was at three syracuse ohio state and alabama oh interesting all right so uh then cumulatively the only one that none of us were at was byu because i was at the uh tennessee cotton bowl great parenting decision Honestly, now that I think about it, my dad, he may have started getting cheaper when more kids came along because for him to take a less than three-year-old to the Cotton Bowl in a snowstorm seems like an anti-him move <laughs> right now, but he did it. Uh, my mom was like, she would have been eight mo- or uh, four months pregnant at the time with my, uh, my middle brother. So we were at the Cotton Bowl and then I've told it multiple times, but I do like people knowing that this is how committed to K-State I've always been. Uh, my brothers and I told my mom we'd rather go to the Fiesta Bowl than Disney World again. So right. we skipped out on a Disney World trip and made my parents uh, the day after Christmas drive to Arizona. And they apparently enjoyed it so much because we went back the next winter for the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl. And then, uh, yeah, Nick Saban last year. My favorite my favorite moment from the Sugar Bowl last season, and there were quite a few, but we're there the day before the game, Nick Saban and Chris Kleiman having their press conferences. and one of the one of the reporters there Nick Saban just goes on some big long thing and he ends it by thanking the media for all that you know you do blah blah, blah all this stuff and Nick Saban gets up some guy there starts clapping like just <laughs> natural reaction like yes preach Nick preach and then immediately realizes nobody else in the room is clapping cuz that's not really what goes down uh so that was that was a pretty funny moment to me and I'll probably never forget that so those are my bowl memories. And yeah, yeah, I've never, you know, obviously K-State hasn't won many of these games, but uh, I've never seen them win one in person. So, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll never forget the 50 degree wind chill in the press box. Oh, that's a, <laughs> it's a cold experience. And they warned us beforehand. They said, hey, Superdome press box is very cold, like because the AC is like right there. Right there. Yeah. And yeah. And I guess Alec, who I worked with, RIP. Uh, not dead, not dead. Want people to know that he he has a friend that she covers the Chicago Bears, and so they played in New Orleans this year. And he's like, "Hey, heads up, that you're gonna freeze your butt off." And she said, "Yeah, everybody on the beat that's been down there told me like to bring a heavy coat." So mm-hmm. some people are better prepared for it than uh, us. And uh, my other favorite thing from the Sugar Bowl, my brother the day of, he rode down there with us. He he's like, "I'm just gonna get a ticket the day of, see what I can get." He can't believe it. He pulls up one of the ticket apps on his phone. And for like fifteen dollars, he can get a seat in like a suite where it's free drinks and snacks and all this. He couldn't believe it. He shows up, and some guy was like, "Yeah, like the people that own these seats, they just like they weren't going to come, so they figured they would throw them up there for whatever." So he had the time of his life watching <laughs> K State get their butt kicked. So I guess uh, some people hey, that, are more first lucky half, that first half, that first half, or like the for first, first quarter, it was it was twenty eight minutes was pretty good. Yeah, and all. Ultimately, people probably don't care to rehash this now, but like <laughs> looking back on it, Chris Kleiman and K State, they did everything that they needed to do to like win that game. Actually, it's just 
everything literally did not bounce their way or work out for them. But if things go the opposite effect and they were close to doing so, that is a close game in case state is actually giving themselves a chance to beat Alabama, which like very few teams are actually ever going to do. So I still respect Chris Kleiman for doing that because too many times in games, we see teams just like mail it in, like let's not get beat by 50, which Chris Kleiman did early in his career, that first game at Oklahoma State. He just kind of mailed it in. But like I watch games now, it's like you're down 28 in the third quarter. You should be kicking onside kicks right now if you really want to win this game. Well, and not only that, like literally in the in the playoff era, the only team to ever have like playoff ambition, national championship ambition, not make the playoff and still have their entire team play. Like yeah. what the hell was that? Like yeah. what <laughs> happened? That was kind of that was kind of messed up by Saban in Alabama. <laughs> this isn't Duke basketball. You're not yeah. playing for the brotherhood. You should have just been getting ready for the combine. You assholes. I agree. And it, look, it's negatively impacted Bryce Young. So let this be a lesson moving forward. Yes. And I, exactly. Will Anderson, I haven't even heard his name once this year. And the Texans are actually good, and they're doing things. So I don't know. Just should have opted out. Screwed up. <laughs> that is screwed up by Nick Saban. So. I, congrats on having a healthy program and culture down there, but you kind of screwed over K State and your players in the NFL. Just you know, <laughs> I think we can all agree there. Nick Saban hasn't done anything good for his players at the pro level. So uh, we'll move on. Scores four two. We have two rounds re- remaining. There, are, let's see. Uh, there are eighteen total points left in this game. I do think the questions are a little bit easier now. Um, so we'll see how it goes down. Although I was surprised that we didn't clear the board with the opposing coaches. So it's always easier when you, when you have the answers in front of you, someone who <laughs> has put point. together K-State trivia games. <laughs> yes. It's always easier when you're putting the game together. That is a good point. Uh, and also like on the bowl coaches with, without, like I wouldn't have had confidence that I could have gotten six of the seven, but I definitely could have gotten there. I would have had zero shot on the Syracuse coach. I would have, yeah, that would have screwed me over so all right Phil Fulmer is the only one that I'm mad at myself about let's move on I should have got that one we get we got the music going let me pull up uh the next question for you guys and uh, this one is going to be about the quarterback position most important position on the field you have to give me the eight starting quarterbacks to win a bowl game as the starter at K-State so Uh, that is where we stand right now. Let me uh, get everything lined up on my end so I don't end up flashing up the wrong thing. Okay. Uh, believe we are back around to where Fan gets to go first here. So he has the first crack at a quarterback to uh, win a bowl game for K-State as the starter. Jonathan Beasley. That is correct. Let me find the, uh, the appropriate number there. Uh, I already about screwed up, but there it is. Jonathan Beasley. He is one of two guys to win two bowl games as a starting quarterback for K-State, the 99 Holiday Bowl and the 2000-2001 Cotton Bowl. I, I believe... Oh, oh man. Uh, I'm going with Skylar Thompson. I, th- I think he's the other one with two. That is correct. Skylar Thompson mm-hmm. uh, started the 2017 Cactus Bowl and the 2021 Texas Bowl. Obviously didn't finish the 17 Cactus Bowl and certainly was not the reason they won that game. Uh, boy, after that game happened, I walked, I probably walked into the K-Man studios the next day and danced all over John Kurtz's face about, look how right I was about Alex Delton and, uh, did not go well <laughs> after that point, uh, in the Alex Delton love, but he's still my guy. Shout out to the Hayes hurler. Uh, so one, one in uh, the third quarter here, uh, now five, three overall fan. We go back to you. Chad May. Yeah, there you go, Chad May, uh, the first quarterback to win a bowl game at K-State in the 93 Copper Bowl. Uh, Bishop, Michael Bishop. College Football Hall of Famer, Michael Bishop. Yes, Hall of Famer, bowl game winner, 97 Fiesta Bowl over Syracuse. And Donovan McNabb, so. Um, Ertz. That is a, uh, a good one right there. Jesse Ertz before Skylar Thompson, the last quarterback to win a bowl game. 2016 Texas Bowl, donning the cowboy hat after winning it. Okay. Um, oh, I. Th- this was the, the, only, the only bowl win I've witnessed in person. L. Roberson in the Holiday Bowl. That is correct. L. Roberson, 02 Holiday Bowl. There you go. 
Jake Waters. 3-3 three, three this round. Uh, fan wasting no time. Going to go out there, take Jake Waters. 2013 B-Dubs Bowl. Uh, that is my only bowl game win that I've seen in person from K-State. Shut oh, up. wait. Well, no, I was at the Cotton Bowl. But I was, a, you know, I was a toddler. Don't remember anything about the game other than it snowed. So yeah, uh, one more sh- left out there. Yeah, fan shout out to four. Yeah, shout out to Tyler Lockett dropping the the best ball that uh, Daniel Sam's ever threw in his life in that uh, 2013 Buffalo Wild. Probably game. another moment where somebody jumped and danced on John Kurtz's face. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So, oh man, this is tough. Um, I mean, I'm just going to throw it out there because, and and this is the one that like, I would have done my onside kick if I knew what this final one was. Mm -hmm. Um, But, but was it Kavanaugh? Did Kavanaugh win a bowl game? Uh, That would be correct. It is (laughs) Brian Kavanaugh on the 95 holiday bowl. So there you go. Uh, A clean sweep there of the starting quarterbacks to win a bowl game for a state. I could be wrong on this, but did he start that game? Uh-oh. I think uh, Matt Miller started the game and got hurt. Uh-oh. You might oh, be right. No. We may we may have uh we may have to go back and look. I believe oh, Matt no. Miller started the game and got hurt. Oh, you might be right. Oh, Let's no. we're going to we're going to go to the board here and if that's the case, <laughs> then I will give the point to fans. Yeah. Yeah, 100% <laughs> give it to him. Give it to Jimmy if he's correct. I might Damn give him two points for for being the fact checker and the contestant in this game. No, no bonus points. Don't give him a bonus point. He can get the point. All right, let's see. Um, here. But no, uh, oh right. man. All right, uh, let's just. I guess I. Yeah, I think. Unfortunately, I think you might be right because uh, the the screen grab that I just saw uh, is indeed Matt Miller at quarterback. And uh, yeah, you're right. That's a great call by fan. So yes, Matt Miller. I'm- I was at that game, so the the Skylar Thompson of the Holiday Bowl, Skylar Thompson before <laughs> Skylar Thompson. Yeah, he was. So uh, <laughs> that's that's impressive, and that major turnaround in this game right now. So, so I, I go from being up two to being only up one. Right? No, it's tied now. Tied, tied. <laughs> what? I went first. I went. First oh, I thought round. there was an even number. In that there point. was. There were eight. Yeah, I was up two, and he got one more right than me, right? No, he, he got did. two because he got Matt okay. Miller. Sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> leave me alone. So, I'm not hey, I'm sorry. I, that was, hey, that's my yeah. bad. Oh man, <laughs> believe oh, it or not, uh, God, I did that was do, an emotional I did do swing. Research before this, uh, the only problem is you're going to have a hell of a time finding box scores or anything from yeah. uh, from back then, and so that's I just kind they of were, like considered exhibition games, right? Like up until maybe you're right. I just I just know that when I went to football reference, it only showed me the score. And I was like, and it's but it said box score. I thought I was like, this is not really a box score that you're showing me. I, th- I think your best reference would be the media guide, I think has all the box scores from all the bowl games, I believe. My you, think, you think I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> go and find this thing? I d- I'm I have never used the paper one. I just look it up online. And search. I do too, but I get sick of having to wait for it to download or go through online. <laughs> I'm uh, glad you guys are having a good time. My morale, I am crushed. I thought I was going to be in the Here's catbird the seat. Do you remember how early in the game that Matt Miller would have gotten hurt? It would have been – it was in the first quarter. It was early. Because Brian Kavanaugh pretty much played the whole game because everybody Here, was – Here's what's weird is I thought to myself last night, I was like, God, that seems weird. I feel like Matt Miller would have been on this list. And I was surprised to see Brian Kavanaugh. And but if he didn't register a stat, then no. I'm 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 protesting. <laughs> he, did, he did. He was six okay. of eight for 82 yards. Okay, never mind. Played like the, the, first the game quarter. is no longer yeah. under protest. Yeah, so but the big P against but in my defense. Wikipedia, which had until, you know, again, I could have gotten off the couch last night and gotten to find this, but it was late. We were trying to grind through a three hour survivor <laughs> finale with my wife. So I was not getting up and disrupting her. Uh, I could have gone and gotten this. It's right next to my computer. I did not do it. But uh, so I used Wikipedia and Brian Cavanaugh, he won like MVP of the game. So I was he like, did. well, then it he had did. to have yes. been him. Uh, was that versus Colorado State? Yes. Yeah. Sonny yeah. Lubick. How, I mean, bowl games in the 90s, you just didn't get an invite to those. Why didn't anybody think Colorado State was deserving of one? That team looks like they sucked. They were actually pretty good. Didn't they, they win the Mountain West? Decent. Yeah, they won the Mountain West. They were pretty decent because we had we had 
our first few bowls were them and Wyoming. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, because uh, nice I, I think West teams. I think the Mountain West champion went to the Holiday Bowl. They did then. for a long yeah. time. Yeah, Brian Cavanaugh, eighteen of twenty four for uh, for four touchdowns in that game. So yes, this is gonna haunt me. That, for it. <laughs> look, I, I don't blame you for that. Um, here. <laughs> If it makes you feel better, I'll give you a half point, but no, in turn, I will no, no, also no. give Jimmy no. a half point. Uh, for fact <laughs> me. So it will be seven and a half to seven and a half. So really, like it's just it. on if you want a half point more. No, no, no. Okay. It's, it's okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, let's let's dig in here now, boys. This okay. one is going to be interesting. This is the most available points in a quarter to close things out. No, oh, geez. There are 10 games that you are going to have to give me here. Oh, and God. you will have to name the first 10 bowl games that K-State played in in the history of the program. So, uh, Scott, he gets the first crack at it. Let me get the uh, the screen up on the board, get everything ready to go. And, uh, I, look, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I'm actually a little impressed at the time and effort I put into getting these graphics up for you so there's some kind of visual aid. Uh, we are ready to go now, though. You can fire away, Scott. Okay, so I, I want a rule clarification because I might be, you know, okay. half assing my way into at worst overtime. Okay. If I do an onside kick here, he doesn't get a chance to answer at all, right? Would have to be after you each have answered uh, a question. Uh, also, I do think, and this is bad, people are like, oh, you should have thought of the rules better. Um, I do think that the we'll fact go that we both have them available, because then he could also use his onside kick mm -hmm. here and it would negate it. So right. let's uh, see if we can clean the board. And if one of us misses and the other one wins in regulation, we'll just, we'll just see what happens. But uh, the copper bowl was the very first one, the wiser lock copper bowl. My dad still has the, uh, Oh, it's okay. Well, yeah. I, that's look, not the first uh, one. Does it have I mean, I, you got the answer, right? Your logic. I lied. Was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, yes, I know. Yeah, I was, was wrong. That was the first bill Snyder one. I know what that the was first indeed one is. a bowl game that K state yes. went to one of the, in first, the first 10. 10. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I know. I this is black. And so me, we the guy have, who goes to so we bat don't have to go first, in order. Okay, yeah, it doesn't have, have to go, to go in order. order. No, no, no. I was trying to go to bat for you know uh, Independence Bowl. Yeah, there, All right, there you go. That indeed is the first bowl game that K State ever played in. I was telling somebody about that the other day, and it blew their mind. Oh, I was a buddy that was in town. We we went to a wedding over the weekend, and the Independence Bowl was on that night again with Tech and Cal. And I was telling about yeah, K State's first bowl game and. Their coach redshirted a bunch of guys just so they could come back and make a push for it to lose like 14 to 3 to Wisconsin or something. Mm -hmm. Pretty gross. So, all right. Uh, that's a, a point for each of you. We have eight answers left out there. Uh, back to Scott. Um, I, I'm going to play it safe and, and say the Holiday Bowl. I think I know what was the next one, but I'm going to play it safe and say the Holiday Bowl. Uh, I'm going to need you to specify. Oh, well, Jesus. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Bad time to take the Lord's name. Well, the 95, the 95 Holiday Bowl. All right. There you go. 95 Holiday Bowl. Uh, for some reason, I feel like my dad had Holiday Bowl sweatshirts left and right. Like anytime they put out a Holiday Bowl shirt, that guy was all over him. Aloha Bowl. Uh, very good call. The uh, third bowl in K State history, the uh, Jeep Aloha Bowl. See that I, I knew that was the next one, and I was worried because I was going to say the Hawaii Bowl. And I'm glad I didn't do that. So um, there, there's a little bit of. I have no I'm, idea if those are the same game, just a different name or not. I might so have I, protested. I probably would have given you credit anyways, but I'm glad well, we avoided that. I, I'm confusion. I'm glad we avoided it as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the '97 Fiesta Bowl, the '97 season Fiesta Bowl, because I don't know if it yes, was. There yeah. you go. That, I, that you're fine. I've I've got it written down. So whatever because bowl games are weird so yes the 97 fiesta bowl against syracuse is on there um 98 alamo uh very good way to just bring down the the mood of this show uh instantly <laughs> by throwing that one out there you probably could have waited and given that one at the end or one of you could have just taken one for the team and said i'll lose this game so we don't have to mention that season but True. yeah uh there you go the 98 alamo bowl yeah, um, I'm I'm going to go with uh, the – I mean, it, it would be the 96 Cotton Bowl. That is correct. The the, uh, the the Cotton Bowl that saved the Cotton Bowl, by the way. 
Oh. If it wasn't for K-State fans traveling across state lines, the Cotton Bowl would have ceased to exist, or at least that's what uh, you know the Alumni Association wants us or to Or all the the 100% real people on Twitter during the, that 96 Cotton Bowl that <laughs> had bars saved and everything else that went on. Uh, absolutely my favorite bowl tradition for K-State uh, is that. So I'm telling anybody right now, you got a week, get your fake Twitter accounts going and fired up and – See if we can get Orlando news stations covering <laughs> the, the saviors that are K-State fans. Uh, so, all right, it's 4-3 in this round. Uh, there are three possible answers remaining. And this is where it gets tough because you have to start to, you know, mm -hmm. the back end here. There's not really a cushion for if you're wrong. So, uh, we'll, we'll go to fan now. Uh, 99 holiday against fellow Big 12 member, Arizona State. That is correct. 99 holiday bowl. Hey, Coligan man. <laughs> um so it would be the 2000 cotton bowl 2000 season cotton bowl yes that is also correct there you go on the board uh so this is to force overtime uh for fan right here one game left this might be the, the toughest the on the 2001 inside.com mark dunn l roberson <laughs> switch every play bowl Wow, he got it, guys. Uh, Insight.com. I, I, I traveled to that game. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. What uh, a miserable, what a miserable game. Yeah, I, I could have cleaned this out, but in the spirit of the game, I'm glad Jimmy and I went back and forth. Yeah, I wasn't. I, I if you both had him left in the last one, then you both could have gone ahead and like said it because you know you can't let somebody not you have a chance to answer or let it come back to you. So. Uh, probably good that uh, I made rules on the fly and uh, adjusted it. So now, uh, look, we're in a we're in a real tricky spot. The game is tied 12-12. Great showing from you guys. Uh, you put on a great show for everybody else. Uh, like I said, there is a tiebreaker that I have planned for in all of this, and it's pretty darn simple. You guys are going to have to, in reverse order, from most recent to oldest, Tell me K-State's opponent in each bowl game. Uh, so you have to give me school and mascot, and we'll see uh, where the trip up comes. There, I will be giving no hints on like, mm. hey, this is the bowl game oh. that it was. You have to just tell me opponent. Uh, so I will uh, get myself back into uh, my, my little sheet that I have up here. There is no graphic to go with this one because I'll be honest, I was not about to go through 20 plus bowl <laughs> games and just start throwing stuff out there. You're lucky. I for for DY and Drew's game, there's like a category that has 13 possible answers. Mm -hmm. That was a grind, but I did it uh, for just love of the game. So we will uh, randomly assign uh, who gets to go first here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this battery that is just laying out here, one loose double A battery. Um, <laughs> the positive side. That will be fan, and the negative side will be Scott. I think for obvious reasons, and uh, whichever one faces. I don't the like. Computer. I don't like Jimmy looking down so much. By the way. Okay. All right. Well. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, how about you throw it against the wall so we see that it's out of the way? Just toss it out of there. Uh, whichever, no, it's close. No, 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 no. I, I was. No, it's whichever okay. side lands facing the computer, uh, that is who gets to go first uh, in this stretch. All right, it is uh oh, what a win for Scott. It is the negative side. So, okay. and this Mr. is negative have, Nelly himself. Uh games that start. have been played. Games that uh, have been played. Yes, games that have been actually, yes, games that have been played. Mm -hmm. Okay. Games that yeah. have been played. So, right. in reverse order, you get to go here and the, there are no points awarded. This is just a straight up whoever is the last man standing wins it. Uh, this is not like horse, you do not have to prove it. The second somebody gets it wrong, they are done. Unless Scott forgot who K-State played in the Sugar Bowl last year, then I do yeah. need at least one correct answer <laughs> out of fan. Uh, but I don't think he'll forget. So, take it away. The Alabama Crimson Tide. That is correct. The LSU Tigers. Also correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is much further than it seems. <laughs> It, it is. It is. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it is the Navy Midshipman. That is correct. And Texas A&M Aggies. No. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. We have a winner. It is Scott Wildcat. Fan skips over. UCLA, the infamous, right? 
Yes, UCLA oh, Jed Fish. I knew, I knew it was one of those two. I forgot. I got it. And then it up. was it was UCLA Texas A and M, and then was it Michigan? Yeah. No. 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 You guys are skipping again. Arkansas in the Liberty Arkansas. Bowl. Oh, UCLA I was at with that the Jim Mora handshake, and then Michigan. Oh yeah, I tried to Oregon, go way so. to Michigan. Well, th- th- this was not. Honestly, was, without the bowl game names, it, it is tough. That's yeah. hard. It's hard to think backwards, too. Yeah, I think we would have done better going forward. Yes. But yeah. I won. Oh, my yep. gosh. Even yes, after yeah. the oh, – nice game. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, congratulations. Honestly, the tiebreaker worked out much better there than I, I anticipated it to. I thought we were going to get back to, like – I don't know. I, I There was a chance I gave you guys credit, but it is tough going backwards in things. I think that's why, you know, you get pulled over like alphabet backwards. Like I couldn't do that if I was sober. So, and, but I, how but often I, are and, you not? It, this is, <laughs> it's I've never been in that situation before. I just want people to know. I, I think what Scott was saying, I think I remember the earlier ones just because they were significant. Mm-hmm. But then they, the 2010s, they kind of all started to run together. Yeah, well, no, so, that that's true. Order of games is a lot tougher there. Yeah, uh, but, for but sure. even going forward, if we would have been like, okay, you know, Bill Snyder's first bowl game back, you know, it's Syracuse. Yeah. And then it's, oh, we should have been in the Sugar Bowl, but instead yeah. we played Arkansas in the Cotton Bowl. Yeah. Then it was 2012, uh, Oregon, 2013. So, yeah. So 13. Oregon, Michigan. Oh, then, so that was Michigan? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, then it, Michigan. The, and then it was, would've, yeah. Okay. Would have been, yeah. So, yeah, so would have been UCLA, Arkansas. See, going forward would have. I, I'm glad you said backwards because yeah. I won. Um, <laughs> but but I, I think I think going forward we would have we would have done that better. But man, I'm shocked. Yeah. Um, I, I want to thank Mason for putting that together. Uh, I yeah. want to thank Jimmy um, because he's awesome. He's my favorite person in the world. I love K State Online. I'm glad I finally made it on this new version of the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. I just want to say uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, um, and, and shout out to everyone at K-State Online, even the haters and losers, of which there are many who do not like me. <laughs> but, you know, probably with good reason, uh, but I, I may never get on this show again, so shout out to <laughs> the haters and losers as well. But not All Jimmy. Right. Jimmy's awesome. Uh, yeah, well, thank you for coming on. Uh, short notice, I sent you guys this message last night. Uh there was a finite amount of time that we could record a lot of these because of basketball and holiday stuff. So I'm glad it worked out. Uh, this will re- run sometime near Christmas. Uh, we're recording this on Thursday, obviously the day of the Wichita state game, uh, fan you lost, but again, nice guy. So you can have the floor here, uh, before you, you, you jolt out. I need the cast to get a win tonight. <laughs> okay. Me after too. Last, after last week, but, uh, otherwise Merry Christmas to everybody. Have a good, time with your families and enjoy um hopefully you're enjoying uh, some good times this this week I tell you what if k-state doesn't win tonight then i there might be an angry mob outside of my house <laughs> just I'm, imagine I'm, someone like k-state loses versus wichita state and they're like oh good so, some k-state online content that i don't have to think about that game yes. here we are like oh we're, all right we're i will make win. this promise if k-state loses the wichita state this will be out on friday if K-State wins, we're going to let it breathe. I'm going to have the celebration of all celebrations live immediately following the game tonight because uh, these dang holiday times with families, uh, I, I can't go to my Super Bowl this year of K-State, Wichita <laughs> State. Second year in a row. How, I mean, how bogus is that? The one game that I wanted K-State to play my entire life, they finally start playing it, and the only one I can go to is is Bruce Weber against Wichita State. Awesome game, hey, by the way. I, I was going to say, we won that game without Nigel Pack, I know. by the way. It um, was, yes. I, mean, I, I called the final score dead on before the game when I was having to do the Wichita State pregame show, a little shocker sound off, and that was before I knew that Nigel Pack was not playing in the game. So my answer probably <laughs> would have changed, but it doesn't matter. Uh, hey, you so. can go to Coke Arena next year. Yes, I can. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anybody that needs a place to stay next year, come on down. I'm only talking to people in this actual (laughs) video chat right now. I'm not offering it to the subscribers of K-State Online. There's just not enough room. uh, And my wife probably doesn't even like that I offered up something in a year advance to you guys. So, And she likes it. it That game was sort of the Marquise Noel coming out party. Yes, it was. I mean, And Casey Olajuwon 
going off early in the game. <laughs> dunk after dunk from that guy. Easy, easy. <laughs> uh, mm. I can remember at one point, there were actually there were multiple points in the game. I was sitting next to DY, and he's like, K State would hit like a big shot, and he's like tapping my leg, like smacking it with a fist because he knows how like big it is to me. And I'm just trying <laughs> to be like calm and cool there because I'm ready to just go off on people on the air the next day. Like Wichita State's bums. I was gonna say something that I shouldn't say as a respected member of this uh, of this company, so I'm not gonna say it. Uh, but yeah, I was gonna say a lot of negative things, and I got to. So I'm hoping I get to do that tonight slash tomorrow. So. Uh, and again, if you're watching this, that game has already happened days ago and uh, you don't care about any of this. So shut it off. Thank you for watching. Uh, there will be another edition of Bull Games coming up. This one's going to have D.Y. and Drew against each other. This is going to be fascinating because, number one, how much does D.Y. actually know? Uh, yeah. He's only been around Manhattan for six years. And Drew, like similar 12. to me, he's a young man. Uh, most of these will revolve around stuff that they were actually there for, but there are a couple questions that probably were slightly cruel by me, but we'll see. So thank you to Scott and Jimmy for joining us on this edition of Bull Games, and thanks for watching K-State Online.